So number three, rules of the game in the six keys to a winning team. It never ceases to amaze me that when I'll go out and visit a business uh, and have a sit down with a chat with a business owner and we start to talk about you know, what are the fundamentals that are going on in the, in the workplace amongst the employees right now uh, and what rules of the game are there, um, the, 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 it's often a question that is, is unanswerable, they don't know. And it's simply because unless as a business owner you have, you have had some influence on, on what those uh, rules are in the workplace, they will exist but you just won't have had any impact on them whatsoever. Uh, and therefore, you know, it, it, the, the, the example of, of going down to an employee and telling them, right, we're going to do X, Y, and Z, and they look at you in a very blank, mythed expression and turn around and say, well, we don't do things like that around here, to you, the business owner, um, could be quite, quite a, you know, a surprising circumstance uh, to find yourself in. But one nonetheless, unless you influence the rules of the game, uh, could exist. You know, what are the rules of the game? You know, what, what is the accepted behaviour? Um, you know, do you utilise the, 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 the culture that is driven through an understanding of above and below the line? Um, if you haven't actually sat down and contemplated what the rules of the game are, um, if you haven't articulated them with the team, if people don't know what expected behaviours are, expected levels of service, how they should interact with each other, um, it will exist. You just won't have had any influence on it. Um, so take control. Uh, demonstrate your strong leadership in making sure that people understand the rules of the game. Um, and, and, you know, the, 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 the guidelines are there. And here's one last thought on the rules of the game as well. Um, because we, we, we can articulate what they are in detail. But there are occasions where um, your team will need a level of autonomy and empowerment to be able to think outside of the box. Think of the rules of the game or the strict rules that are you know, followed within a football pitch, within the white lines and the white guiding lines of a football pitch, and then what happens when the ball goes out? And what is that circumstance in your business? When that ball is kicked into touch, how do you then go about uh, um, empowering the team either to make a decision, knowing uh, you know, what the common goals are, or secondly, how they go about uh, seeking clarity from yourself as the business owner? or indeed the appropriate levels within. So there you go. Rules of the game uh, in building a, a strong uh, and winning team. Until we come to the next one, on the fourth video in this Six Keys to a Winning Team, have a great day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Thanks a lot. I'm Steve Gaskell. Bye-bye.